Greetings everyone and welcome to another technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to show you how to create an electronic ballot for student government elections. Um, in this case I'm going to use Google Forms and I imagine one of the first things that comes to mind is well how do you prevent duplicate voting? Well, I'm going to show you how to set up a script that will automatically remove duplicate ballots that have been cast and actually dynamically populate the results into charts that already have been pre-created. So let's go for it. So this, I'm not going to walk you through the process of creating a form. It's quite straightforward. But this is a very simple form that I've created. Um, elections for three positions. Uh, president of the senior class, vice president of senior class, and treasurer of, treasurer of senior class. Um, these are simply choose from a list questions so I can pick any one of the above choose and I can submit now it can ask me to submit another response but let me show you what's happening here on the back end so all of this information is being fed into my spreadsheet which is here the form responses now I have set up a script um, that I actually just Googled and found uh, right here on the Google developers website and it's very much a copy and paste of, of this portion of the script however I also added a custom menu um, to run the script and then I included the there's a variation um, of the script this conditional statement what this does is allow me to remove duplicates based on a single column or columns in my spreadsheet so in other words uh, my idea was to track automatically track the username of the voter because they have no control of modifying this um, and that way when they sign in to vote if they vote multiple times um, this script will look at that specific column and remove any duplicate entries of that username. So that way no one can vote multiple times to uh, alter the results of the election. So let's take a look at the, the actual script. Um, so I went into tools here in the script editor. So this here is the custom menu portion of the script. Here is the copy and paste of that previous uh, screen that I just shown you with the script. And then the line right here is the using the variation of the original script. So I replaced, I removed the if statement that was in the original script and replaced it with the variation that allows me to remove duplicates based on a single column. And in my case, it's the username column. And then the final step was to uh, build in a trigger on form submit. So every time each ballot ha was cast, the script would run and purge any duplicate entries. Um, so we can go ahead and look at the triggers here as well. You can see here it's going to run remove duplicates from spreadsheet on form submit and I saved it right there um, so just to reiterate what's happening I notice I've already voted once if I go back to my form and I'm going to try again and we're going to see that it'll appear for a brief moment on the spreadsheet if I click fast enough but we're going to watch it disappear so here it comes, there it goes. Now in terms of displaying the results, um, I'm using the count if function to do this. So every time Fred Flintstone appears in the results here, it's going to give it a number. So if we had five Bill Clintons, it would put number five. And based on that, we can create a table from which we can then build a chart 
Now, since I'm only logged in as myself and I can't cast any more votes, um, of course, Barney Rebel here has 100% of the votes. But have other, if other people were to cast ballots, um, we would see how this would change um, based on the entries that are ended here. Because this, this function right here is pulling the data from the form responses. And I did this uh, for president, vice president, and treasurer. Um, and I could even go one step further and publish the charts to kind of make them available uh, to people as the election is happening. So they can kind of watch the results go back and forth if they're interested in adding a little bit of uh, suspense to a school election. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.